Chet, we might be on to something. I am extremely excited to make this video because this might be the single most genius thing I've ever done in my entire life. And the premise, as you probably saw in the title, is we can now generate websites in five minutes or less, probably less. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. Here we are in the code base. All right, so I've drawn up what I believe to be probably the most advanced diagram on why websites matter and why they're actually good to sell if you're an agency or if you're just someone trying to make money. So essentially, a website is kind of like the front page of a business, you can think of it that way. But it provides two things. So first of all, you get SEO. So if you have a bunch of well-ranking pages, you can kind of show up higher on the search results and therefore get more traffic. So it's like a way to capture traffic. And this, obviously, SEO is going to be easier in a local area. Um, and then you also have, it's basically, it's part of your sales funnel. If someone comes in, they're going to get a good impression. They're going to be able to, like, learn more about you. And then they'll have all your contact methods listed on your website. So companies know that a good website can make them more money. But the problem with selling websites is that selling websites fucking blows, all right? To put it softly... It fucking blows. And essentially, the reason why is there's a few reasons. First of all, it's just super tedious, like clicking around, especially if you're just using like a no code tool like Framer, just clicking around trying to like configure things perfectly. It sucks. It's terrible. And let me just center myself here. And you don't want to be doing that. It's, it's extremely slow. And then there's this constant feedback cycle where you're reaching out to the client and you're like, hey, I made some changes. What do you think? Does it look good? And then they take like, a few hours or a few days to respond. And then when they respond, then you, it takes like a while for you to go and make the changes. It's just a whole mess. And it just ends up taking forever to build a website. And that even counts for like a template website. So if we look at this company, this is um, Detailers Roadmap. And I really like what they, like some of their designs. I mean, this one I think is just fucking clean as shit. And it's built with Duda. That's what this um, this template viewer is. And with Duda, you can have custom values. So you can have this this color is a custom value, and then like all the text. And so when they want to duplicate a site, they just fill in this stuff. And I say they just fill in this stuff because this image in the background is blue. So if the client wants green, then you have to find a new image. And there's all these kind of constraints, and there's all these kind of problems with duplicating a traditional template. Okay, and it's still going to take someone at least an hour between like one and five hours to duplicate this website. Now, that might be a good, that might be a good um, use of your time. If, if you can sell this website for $2,000 and it takes you five hours to do it, you're making 400 bucks an hour, which isn't too bad, you know, as long as you're not counting the cost of acquisition or the time required there. But just to build the website 400 bucks an hour, that's not bad. But what if I told you, uh, this, is, this is gonna sound like a, a sales pitch, something just came across my desk. You could make, all right, this is going to sound, this is just going to sound stupid, but essentially we say $2,000 for the website. And if it takes five minutes, standby caller. Okay. We're back. We're back on the air. $24,000 an hour. Here, let's just, let's just put a nice dollar sign in front of that. 24,000 American dollars per hour saying, if, assuming you spend, uh, you sell the website for $2,000 and it takes five minutes to spin up. I'm going to show you how that is actually possible. And before I show you the actual website, I'm going to show you the site. And let me just get rid of the filtering here. This is the site. These are the websites right here. Doesn't that look like a nice website? It's a row in a database. How fucking genius is that? It's literally the websites that we generate here. It's not a website you can take and you can download and you can host anywhere or you can put it on your own account. It's a row in a database and it tells my system how to render a specific website for this client, okay? This is the definitive difference between how we build websites and how every other build website is built. And more importantly, it's the difference between like how this system makes it extremely advantageous to sell websites and how the old system means that hardly anyone sells a website unless they're an actual website development agency, okay? Um, <laughs> I just thought of something. We're going to democratize website sales. People getting scammed on selling websites. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, okay, anyway, so here is the website, and I have two versions pulled up. So what we can see here is in the URL, this one is Atomic Wraps Wall, 
And then this one is Vibrant Mobile Detail, okay? And these are subdomains. Essentially, if someone lands on a website with this domain, so it could be Vibrant Mobile Detail uh, .localhost3000, or it could be .com, so wherever, it doesn't really matter. Um, but when someone lands on that page, it tells the system exactly how to render this page. So what we get is we get their name up here, we get their tagline, their colors, their color scheme, which is light, and this website is dark, it's an orange color scheme, it's got a different name on it, and obviously all the contact information is going to be different. So this is how we're rendering out the pages. <laughs> Alright, you, you ever start a sentence and you have no idea what you were going to say? Anyways, there's three distinct, no, two distinct advantages with this system. Let me start with the most boring advantage because if I do that, I might be able to get a little bit more watch time out of you. The most boring advantage is actually quite fucking sick. It's that every service, every page on this website is also a row in the database. Which means if we want to add more pages, it's extremely easy, okay? And, and let me show you, <laughs> let, me, let me actually hone in on the key difference here. And that is this kind of structure that I'm working on. Okay, let me explain this. Okay, so, so let's say we have someone searching for ceramic coating on Google. Okay, ceramic coating in Olympia, Washington. That's where I'm from. So let's say they search for Olymp ceramic coating in Olympia, Washington. Well, what we can do is we can actually generate a unique page. All we know, all we have to know is that, and this should actually be a colon, but all we have to know, yes, like that. Okay, all we have to know is where this company wants to have pages generate so they could say Olympia, Washington, Seattle, Washington, Tacoma, Washington, all the places around here. And when this pay, when this website is generated, we're gonna get a page for ceramic coating Olympia Wa, ceramic coating Tacoma Wa, ceramic coating Seattle Wa, and that's three pages. And that means if someone searches for ceramic coating in any of those cities, we're gonna be there or we're at least gonna have a page which is gonna help a lot with SEO because most people don't do this. But that's just the beginning, all right? Can you believe that? Now, we can also add in a specific query. And some for some reason, this is kind of fucked up. But essentially, I'm using the hashtag and the uh, at symbol here. I don't, I don't know if you can see this super well. I'm using the hashtag and the at symbol. I'll just close this. To denote what type of it, query it is. So this is the query, and then this is the location. So the query is a kind of misnomer, I would call it, but it's not really a misnomer. Car coding, expel, PPF, uh, expel, PPF wouldn't really work, but if you have no idea about ceramic coatings, you might be confused, but these are things that people might search for when they really mean ceramic coating, okay? If, if you can imagine that. Um, and if you can't imagine that, I'm just bad at explaining things. So. Essentially, someone searches for car coating Olympia Wa, and we're going to show up, whereas the competitors who are just ceramic coating are not going to show up because we're actually trying to show up for car coating. And what this means is that every service, ceramic coating, can have 50, 100 different kind of text like queries here that people can search for. Okay? So, what that means is, and then, all right, all right, all right last thing on this. And then we can combine these for every single permutation and every single service. So let me let me kind of make this real. So let's say we have 10 different services, okay? Car detailing, RV detailing, ceramic coating, whatever, right? And then for each location, they have, let's say, five surrounding cities, okay? Now, and this, this, this is actually going to be um, 10 plus because we have ceramic coating, car detailing, and then we also have ceramic coating Olympia, ceramic coating Tacoma. So we have 60 total pages, and then, and, uh, okay, no. And then, let's say for each service, we have 10 different kind of misnomers or names that people might call it. So we multiply this by 10 again, and we have 500, 500, different pages that are generated when we build the site from only, look, 25 different values that we put in.
because it's it's a a product of all of those things. So this is the fundamental difference in a coded system versus like a template website. It's way harder to do something like this. Now it is possible, but I misspoke. It's not actually the fundamental difference. The fundamental difference is the next thing, okay? But this is extremely good. And you might be wondering right now, won't that be super hard on the machine having to generate 500 pages at once? Maybe you're not thinking about this. I was. How do you generate 500 pages? How do you set this all up? All you have to do, all you have to do is tell the system, hey, if someone lands on this page right here, if they land on ceramic coding slash car coding slash Olympia Wah, there's a page there. If they land on something else that's not that, there's no page. And so we don't have to generate this page immediately. The way it works is, let me, let me uh, see if I can. Okay, so here we are in a different project. This is also a multi-tenant website, but essentially, when this page is generated, it will generate a list of all the potential pages so the server knows instantly if a page is there or not, okay? So we, we just give the server a list of all the potential paths that someone can land on. And then if someone lands on that path, only when they land on it do we actually take the time to generate that page because we have to do some, some logic to generate the right page, have the right styling and all this stuff. Only when someone lands on the page do we take the time to generate that whole page and then that page is cached or stored on a server for next time. So instead of generating it, it just ping, it just shoots off that page that's already made. Dude, that was so sick. Ping, I'm gonna say that more. Anyways, that is the boring part, okay? And then the, the sickest part, which is probably a little bit shorter to explain, is that now, we can use these websites because they're they're generated in five minutes because all we have to do is fill out some rows in a database. And by the way, no, never mind. Because all we have to do is fill out some data in a database, we can generate a page like that. And all we have to do is, I'm gonna build this out in the future where we, we can put in the old customer's website and it goes to their website and it says, okay, we should add these services and this is their phone number, this is their links, whatever, right? And then it aggregates all that stuff and puts it into the structure the way it needs to be. So if you have like a demo, let's say you're an agency selling marketing services to a client. You never sell websites because it's a pain in the ass and that's not your thing. Your thing is ads and acquisition. All you do is you're about to have a demo with someone. You send my server, like a webhook in high level or, or however you want to do it. You just send my server. Hey, can you uh, generate a quick website for this guy? I want to I wanna see if I can get him sold. With that website okay okay yeah or I don't say anything it does it for me right and then when I get that old website it generates a page just like this or just like this and that page is you can shoot it over to your customer before the demo and be like hey we're really excited I just you know I just made this website for you you want to check it out and they're like oh my god you know or they're just looking at oh my god this company is legit like I want this website or you know, you just like show them on the demo and you're like, hey, look, if you're if you're really uh, hesitant to get started, you know, we can give you this website for free because um, it costs you literally nothing to produce. And yeah, there'll be like a monthly fee, obviously, but that's kind of how you can get that recurring revenue. So, yeah, I mean, I'm extremely excited about this. Even if even if I can't sell this to agencies to get them to sell it for me or to their clients, not for me, like a weird way, but to get them to sell it to their clients. Um, I'm just going to like use it to, to outreach to local businesses. You could set up like cold email where it might cost me like a dollar in compute to render out an old, like an old website. So I'd want to make sure I have some high quality leads, but I can reach out to, you know, a hundred people a day. It's like spending a hundred bucks on ads. But if my outreach is if like four to five, let's say like 75% of people, are actually interested when they see a website with their business name on it, their logo, all their information. And they're like, Hey, I'll, I might be interested in talking about this. And if you can close just like, all right, hang on. Oh, I was trying to do some math, but essentially you just send out this message automated <laughs> fully autonomously to a hundred people a day or 200 or however many you can afford to generate websites for you just send out those websites 
and you're just like, hey, do you want this website? I'll give it to you for 50 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month, whatever. And the crazy thing is that, like, okay, so this company, Detailers Roadmap, they're really big in the detailing space. Um, they've done a lot of kind of cool stuff. They have a lot of sick websites, like I was saying. If we go to their website uh, pricing, am I fucking... Oh, there we go. Okay. Their lowest package, a five-page website, is $170. And then, it, even if you go up to an 11-page website, 250 So, I don't know what that should be if we're charging, you know, okay, 11 pages for <laughs> $230. So, that's like 20 bucks a page per month, right? If we have 500 pages. So, yeah, I should probably be charging $10,000 a month. But, um, no, obviously not. But I'm going to probably charge 100 bucks a month because they can do the maintenance. They can go in and edit their database row from the back end. I don't have to do it um, with this type of setup. So I could, I could just charge 100 bucks a month, and that's $2,400. Probably people keep their website two years at least. So, like, LTV of, like, 2400 bucks per client at 100 bucks a month, and you're giving them kind of a screaming deal, like, yeah, I don't know. This I'm so excited about this project, and um, yeah, I just had to talk about it. So, uh, and you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link below. If you want to get on the wait list for this so that you can get the entry-level pricing and you can actually be the first mover, I will put a link below. Make sure to fill that out. You can get on the wait list. And um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say besides that. Except if you look below that list, there'll also be a link to get help with your business, with automating your business, or doing some shit like this. And, uh, yeah, you can reach out to me, you can get a quote, and I will help you automate your business. So you can spend more time uh, watching cat videos on TikTok, because that's what really matters. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.